Hi everybody, it's Beth here and today I'm going to show you how to paint this rather um, beautiful but simple um, flower garden and we're going to use watercolours. So um, all you'll need is a watercolour palette, a paintbrush and a piece of paper. Okay, we're not going to use a pencil, we're going to get straight into painting. So if you've got all of those ready, we will get started. So let's zoom you in a little bit. We're going to be looking at using lots of different kinds of brush strokes just to um, create different effects and, um, and paint all these lovely flowers. So I'm giving you some guidelines um, only really, um, and you can explore and paint and use the skills you're going to learn in this workshop and create your own lovely flower garden. So I'll just pop this out of the way. Um, and we'll start by just choosing, we'll start with the red, we'll get you zoomed in just a little bit. So we'll start with a red. Um, when we're using our watercolours, obviously you wet your brush and then you just wipe off some of the drips so that um, you haven't got a, a really watery brush. And I'm just using this um, palette of watercolours. You might have a similar one, slightly less colours, whichever, whatever you have will be absolutely fine. So if you've got a few less or a few more, it doesn't really matter. Um, it, we, we're not going to be really specific today. So when you're using your watercolours, get your brush nice and wet, wipe off your drips, and then you need to really work your brush gently. So don't um, obviously scrub your brush and dig it into the paints, but just gently really work it so you've got quite a lot of paint on your brush and then we'll get those nice, strong, bright colours. Um, so what we'll start off by doing, we're just going to, First of all, paint some red flowers. So I'm just going to paint some little, almost they're like circles, but a little bit wibbly wobbly around the edge. So we'll probably paint about three of those. And again, there's no right or wrong. And you can really experiment. This is quite experimental. So you might choose to put yours somewhere else on your page, but I'm gonna pop mine just right in the middle, like that. So nice and bright with your red. So working your brush into your, your paint so that you've got a nice bright red, okay? And then I'm going to wash that red and we're going to now move to a pink. So I'm going to choose any pink in my palette. If you don't have a pink, then maybe you could choose a different colour. So you could maybe go for an orange or a yellow. But I'm going to go for a pink next. And we'll do some flowers next to the red ones. So this time, I'm just going to do a little, like an oval shape. And then next to it, another little oval shape and join it up. And then another one next to it. So we've got three, like three little oval shapes next to each other. And then, and you can also, depending on the size of your brush, sometimes you can just use your brush, the bristles on your brush, just to create the shapes of your flowers. So you can just press it down gently, can you see, like that. And then you're just creating some little petals as well. So I think I'll do a few, a couple more. So maybe another one under here and then we'll leave that there. And then I might, I quite like the pink ones. So we'll maybe put a few a little bit lower. So we'll, we'll experiment by doing different sized flowers as well and popping them at different heights on your page and also slightly different angle. So you can see I'm just creating petal shapes by just pressing my brush down like that. Okay, and also because I've got the paint on the tip, what's happening is they're getting a little, it's a little bit darker on the tips and then lighter in the middle. Can you see that? But it doesn't really matter. It's just really about, like I said, just experimenting and seeing what effects you can get. 
So once we've done um, the pink flowers, I'm going to choose another colour. I might go for a nice bright yellow. So I'm going to pick a yellow. I've got a few different ones in my palette. So I've got a few different ones. I'm going to go for like an orangey yellow. But again, it doesn't matter at all. And the yellow flowers could be like daffodils, couldn't they? Which is very, you might see those a lot at the moment. So again, I'm just sort of using my brush just to gently, obviously we don't want to be rough with our brushes. We look after our brushes, but just pressing it down and just creating some lovely flowers. So I might just do some up here as well and maybe a little cluster of them down there so if you, if your brush starts getting a little bit dry and make sure you get those get a little bit more paint on it and then we'll come back and do the centers in a minute but we'll let that watercolor dry just for a moment and Whilst I've got the yellow on my brush, I might do a few little yellow flowers down the bottom of my painting as well. So let's do some, and this time, I'm just going to do three little petals pointing up. So just three, one, two, three, like that, like that, okay? And if it's hard to do it with the brush, then you can just paint them, can't you? So you just do one, two, three like that okay so we'll just do a couple more down the bottom so I've got a little cluster of lovely yellow flowers along the bottom of our our painting so another one there like that um and then I might do some over here so I could do some over here so I'm doing a different shape now so we're doing almost like the yet letter U and then we're just painting in between and these could be what sort of flower could these be they look a little bit like tulips so maybe we could say that these ones over here are going to be tulips so it's quite nice to have them at slightly different angles and even coming off the edge of the page a little bit taking them right to the edge of the page I might put three little tulips just up there. And then what we might start doing is adding and blending a little bit of colour in. So what I might do is go to an orange. An orange and yellow blend really well together. So again, I'm wash my brush, dry, dry the drips off a little bit and then really working my brush into the paint so that we've got a nice strong colour and pop a little bit of orange on the background. And then I'm going to just use a little bit of water on my brush just to blend it in. So a clean brush with a little bit of water on your brush and that just helps to blend in that orange. Okay, so once we've done that, um, I might swap colours now and we'll see if um, we could move to maybe a blue or a purple. Okay, so I'm just making sure that you can see the colours okay. So the purple, if you haven't got a purple, you can make purple from two colours. I'm not sure if you know those two colours. I'm sure you probably do, but um, you can make purple from blue and red. So you could have a little go at making a purple from those two colors, or you might want to just use a different color instead. So you could maybe use a blue instead of a purple. So see what you have in your palette. And there's no right or wrong. I'm not really painting any particular flowers. We're sort of making it up as we go along a little bit and that's the fun of this painting. 
you can pretty much do whatever you want. I'm going to do slightly different size flowers. So again, just maybe three little lines and little clusters. So I'm not doing them perfect lines. They're quite scattered about. And it's quite nice to try and get some that are a little bit smaller and some that are a little bit bigger. So if you think about in an actual flower garden, you don't get everything exactly the same size, do you? So we can just do a little cluster of flowers in one corner. And then again, I'm going to keep to my bluey purple. I'm going to do some different kinds of flowers. And what over here, so what we're doing at the moment is just doing the basic shapes and then we'll build up with some more details. So this one, I'm going to do just the tip of my brush. So hopefully you can see this okay. We're right on the edge of the paper and choosing a space on my paper and I'm just using the tip of my brush. And we're just going to press very lightly and can you see I'm getting a very very little petal. So we're doing a different, so this could be, it's a bit like the lavender plant isn't it? So we could create some lavender. So I'm working down in a little line all the way down and then the other side just using the tip of your brush. So you need quite a pointy brush for this one and if your brush isn't very pointy then you could just dab it using dots. So just instead of the point you just get a little dot and that will look really good as well. So all the way down and also I'm trying to just curve it a little bit so it's just curving but it doesn't matter if, it, if it's difficult to curve you could just go in a straight line can you? So I'm doing a few lovely purple Maybe we could fit another one up here, a little bit higher up as well. So coming down, little row all the way down. And they look really different to what we've done over here as well. So you can also add some, if you wanted to add some in a different place, you could as well, couldn't you? So if you've got some big gaps, we could maybe pop some more in and scatter them about. So if you had a lovely wild flower garden, the flowers would all be mixed up and scattered around. So that's what we're trying to create, it's just lots and lots of lovely colours and shapes. And whatever you do will look good. So now I've done some purple flowers to see if we've got any little gaps anywhere and I haven't used much blue so have a little look and see what other colours you could do and we could do some little tiny flowers couldn't we so I've got a little bit of blue here so what I'm going to do is just little dashes going round in a little bit of a circle like a little cluster we can pop a few in any little gaps that we've got on our page. So we're really mixing up. All these lovely colors and shapes. So we're just doing the basic outlines to start with. Again, maybe we can pop some over here. If your brush starts to go a little bit dry, it's a little bit scratchy on the paper, that's telling you you just need to add a little bit more water to your brush. So, so take your time, just enjoy, just experimenting. 
Okay. So I've got some blue flowers in there as well. So we're starting, so we're getting quite busy now with our flowers. So the other thing we'll do is start to go back and add some other little colours into what we've done already. So with the red flowers, I might add a little black centre. So you can choose what colour, but I'm going to do a little black centre and then it makes them look a little bit like poppies, doesn't it? So you could put little tiny dots around the black centre. So we've got the red ones done and then the pink ones, I might choose a contrasting colour. So a colour that's going to stand out on my pink. So I'm going to go for like a quite a dark, blue so we're just going to pop a little dark blue center in those and what you'll get is a bit of a purpley color because the blue and the pink mix together and then that creates that lovely purple and you don't have to be really neat with watercolors you can be quite loose with your brush strokes because it doesn't this sort of style means that if that your, that your brush strokes work quite well and look nice, just nice and, and loose. You add a little bit of water to your brush and blend them in a bit as well. And then I might add, let's think what contrast, what colour contrasts nicely with that purple. I think I might do a yellow. So that will stand out. So. I'm going to add a little yellow dot just underneath, just underneath each of those. You can see how it brightens up those lovely flowers. And also, I think in the middle of the blue ones, I might put a tiny little yellow dot as well. So when I was painting the blue ones, I didn't paint right in the middle of all of them. And then you can add that little dot. You could use red, red would look nice as well. Um, and then what I'm going to do with these, I'm going to make them look a little bit like a daffodil. So all we're going to do is just add a little orange centre and just painting a little blob of orange just in the middle, just to make them look a bit more like daffodils. And then the yellow ones down here, think about what colour will look nice with yellow. And I think I'm going to go for a bright red. So we'll choose a nice bright red. So again, just work in your brush to get that nice strong colour. And then we're just going to dab a little bit of red just in the middle of those yellow flowers. And then I'll have a little look, little stand back and see if there's anything else that I think I could add. But I think most of them look really pretty. So the next step is to add some little green stems on our flowers. And we don't have to do every single one, but we'll add a few in. So just Pick green, and again, I don't think there's any right or wrong. Just see which greens you've got, and you might want to use a few different greens. So if you've got a choice, you could use different ones. And basically, just with the tip of your brush, you don't press hard, and we'll do this nice and delicately. So don't press hard, and we'll just start adding a few little stems. So just a few little green lines coming down your flowers. And I'm probably not going to do all, all of them, all the little ones, but the big ones will add some stems. You can, again, add some different shades. So if you wanted to, if you've got a darker green and a lighter green, you might want to just, Use a bit of both. 
and have your stems coming at different angles, different lengths. And just work that brush and they can be crossing over each other. So, and then we just pop a few little green dots. So we don't have to do too much. So just pop it, pop them in like that. And then we'll pick a few and we'll do some leaves on some of them. So for the tulips, we could add just a little green line. So that's all you need to do. You don't need to be too detailed in your leaves. So all I'm doing is just painting a little line like that. Pop a couple on our poppies and maybe just pick a few of our daffodils, but we don't have to do all of them. And then maybe for our lavender, we could just do some tiny little dots with the tip of our brush, just to add a little bit more detail. But again, just experiment. And you don't, don't overdo it. So we just, just a few little details with your paintbrush. Okay. And then um, once you've done that, you can, the other thing you can do is with your green, you can always, if you haven't got different shades of green, you can use your yellow just to add a touch of yellow into some of your stems. And that just gives you another shade of green that you can experiment with. Just makes them look a bit more interesting. So add all your lovely stems in. And then once you've done that, if you've got any little gaps, you can just go back with a color. And again, pick any color you want or a variety. And we can just add some little dots just in between. So these could be just little flashes of color just in between, so different colours. And then once you've done that, the finishing final touches, we're going to add some lovely splats. So this is where we just have to be a little bit careful. But what you do is you wet your brush, choose some colours. So we'll start off with a little bit of red. So I'm really working my brush into my red. And then I'm going to dip back into my water. And then what we do, we're really careful. We hold our paper and then we just tap with one, one little finger. We never ever flick our brushes because that way we will get paint everywhere, all over ourselves, all over the furniture, maybe over the screens. So we never ever do that. We always just do it really carefully, just one finger at a time. And then you can add your splats on, lots of different colours. Um, and then once you've done that, your painting will hopefully look a little bit like that. But um, you'll have a beautiful, colourful watercolour flower garden.